right, guys. Tonight I am doing jambalaya. And it's going to be a sausage jambalaya. And I only started doing that because my mom wasn't a fan of shrimp and what have you. <coughs> so if you like, you can use uh, your sausage, shrimp, and ham. Usually use a pound of whatever kind of meat. You can use your sausage and anything you have left over in the refrigerator. This recipe is really good for that. So I'm going to start out with some spicy Italian sausage. I'm going to brown that off. Um, I won't cook it all the way through. And then slice it up. I have smoked sausage. I have a couple of links of some chicken and green chili that I thought I'd get rid of and throw in there. And I have some on Dewey. I do try, no matter what kind I make, to put the andouille in the smoked sausage. If nothing else, definitely the smoked sausage. That's my preference. It adds a richness and a depth of flavor that I definitely notice if it's not there. Then you will want your trinity, which is celery, onion, bell pepper. I only have red, green, and yellow bell peppers, so I'm going to use the orange. You'll want a pound of mushrooms, and I have five cloves of garlic. So I'm going to go ahead and get about six of these, no, maybe five of these Italian sausages. And we'll turn around. And I will probably can any of the leftover that I have. I don't cook mine with the rice in it. When I was in New Orleans, it was served to me the way I make it um, with the rice on top all pretty. You can put the rice underneath and put it on top, whatever. If you want to use the uh, rice in there, just the ratio of liquid we're going to put in here, you know, do the equivalent of rice that you would need for that. Pretty simple. Um, I like it either way, but. This freezes better after it's done without the rice. You can take out a portion of it to freeze or can without the rice and add the rice to your dinner that you're having that night and cook it in there. But like I said, we're gonna put it over the rice. So I'm going to slice the celery, dice the onion, dice the bell peppers, slice the mushrooms, mince the garlic, start slicing up my sausages. You're gonna need a can of diced tomatoes and I use a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Um, Y'all know that is Rotel. And uh, you'll need chicken broth or chicken bouillon. And uh, use the bouillon, make sure the spice that you use doesn't have salt. You wanna be careful with the salt. So yeah, we'll get this browning up. I will get these veggies prepped up and ready to go and I will put these in the pot after I take out the sausages so it's a pretty easy meal so I will see you after I get all these veggies prepped up okay we are back and I'm going to add my vegetables hopefully I get them all in the pot the dog down there. He's waiting for spillage. I don't know if you guys ever see my dogs. They like to hang out in the kitchen. My schnauzer, I call him my veggie dog. He'll pick a tomato here and there in the summer out of the yard. When he was a puppy, he picked one of the prettiest ones. <coughs> Came back in, took a nap with it. And when he got up, he ate it. He can hear that knife come out of the drawer from out in the yard and he parks his little behind right there underneath the oven and just lays there hoping. So I've added my celery, my onion, my bell pepper, and my mushrooms. And I'm going to let these soften. You'll notice they shrink a lot. Of course you know how mushrooms are. And it, I don't think it's, it's one onion, 
and it was fairly large, one bell pepper, four ribs of celery is usually what I use. I just used the rest of what I had, including the heart with the leaves and everything. And then a pound package of mushrooms that I sliced. You can buy them already sliced, whatever. I have my garlic minced, so when this wilts and shrinks and softens, I'll add the garlic and my spices. I have a Cajun spice. If you don't have Cajun spice, don't worry about it. Just use some thyme, uh, cayenne pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika, a um, little bit of oregano, some bay leaf. You'll have to pull those bay leaves out. And uh, chicken broth. I'm going to use some chicken bouillon. That's my salt, essentially, because I'm greedy. I don't want to use up all my canned chicken broth for this. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to let this shrink up. I'll add those garlic and the spices. Mix it in when you can smell the garlic. I will add the tomato all of my sausages and the water and let it simmer so we will come back when you let it simmer don't bring it up to a rolling boil you do not want to boil this you just want to have it at a slow bubble it smells good already and I did not dump anything in here. I just added this to the pan drippings from browning off the spicy Italian sausage. And like I said, you don't have to use that. You can, if you can't find on Dewey, um, you can just use your smoked sausage. And if you have a favorite spicy sausage, you can use that. I know it took a while before we were able to find on Dewey here and uh, ham and if you use shrimp you want to put that in at the very end because you don't want that to be rubbery and uh, you can also use anything you have left over in the refrigerator beef pork chicken throw it in there if you want to get rid of your leftovers and like i said this freezes beautifully so yeah we'll be back when i get to the next step and this is all softened Okay, our vegetables have softened, and you can usually tell by the color of the onion. It gets a little translucent, and the bell pepper and the celery softens, and of course the mushrooms shrinky dink. I'm going to add, I usually make two heaping piles on my wooden spoon. I'd say that's about a quarter of a cup. If you can make this a spicy as you like. Don't inhale when you put that in the pot or you will cough. And if you guys can't get a Cajun spice and you want a recipe for your own, let me know. I can do that. Um, Emeril Lagasse has one. Tony Saturoni. Tony Saturoni? Something like that. Saturi. Something like that. He has one. Um, and that other fellow that passed away, he has a lot of spices. Anyways, there's a lot of different brands out there. This is Tones. I'm going to add six bouillon cubes right now. And I'll taste this after it simmers for a while to see if it needs any other salt. That Tones has no salt and no MSG the print the kind that I get and if you want it spicier you could always add more cayenne pepper Tabasco whatever you like I have some brown rice cooking in the rice cooker you can make white rice if you don't eat rice maybe you could try quinoa I've never tried that or something else that you use in your home That one doesn't want to come out. I'm 
I'm not used to using these. And then add the garlic. I used five cloves because some of them were small. And after you make this, you can figure out what you like to your taste. To me, the first bite, yellow cough. And then after that, it's perfect. This is really good in the winter. It's even good in the summer. You get that yin and yang thing where you heat up your insides, cools off your outsides. See, so yeah, I've got that mixed in really well. And now I'm just going to start dumping everything else in. Dump all the sausages. This is the andouille and the smoked sausage. And then that chicken sausage I'm just using to get rid of it. Like I said, this is a good recipe to use up any leftovers. Add your tomatoes. And then I'll add about eight cups of water. I still have to slice up my Italian sausage forgot about that. Should be cool enough now to handle. So I'll slice that up. I'll add the water. Two. Four. So if you were wanting to put your rice in there to cook with this, you would equal it to eight cups of water. I like it either way, but this makes it more versatile. Like I said, what I have left, I'm going to can. And you just let this come to a simmer. So I will let this simmer and when it's ready, and I'll add my other sausage to this. It's a nice, hearty, home-style comfort meal. If you like a lot of flavor, believe me, this packs a punch in flavor. It will make your taste buds dance. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let this simmer, and when it's ready, we'll come back and plate it and taste it. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, here's our jambalaya served up. And all I did was put it in a bowl, and to make it pretty, I packed some rice in a ramekin and put it on top. And let's give this a try. As you can see, the smoking hot. Look at a piece of andouille here. And a mushroom. I like my mushrooms. I did a stuffed mushroom video, but for some reason half of it didn't record. So I'll have to do that again with the crab meat stuffing like you get at a restaurant. I love those things. So here it goes. Do y'all notice I cut my hair? It's still long, but it's not as long as it was. really hot. It's really good. I think personally I could use it a little more spicy, but if you have a person that doesn't like it too spicy, 
you'd probably want to cut back on the flavor a little bit more or the heat so there you go there's our jambalaya it's pretty easy it's a really easy meal so hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't subscribed please do have a good night